What's your relationship with him like now? I don't have a relationship with him as such. I, I never look to have relationships with the people that I interview on radio or television, that I write about in newspapers. I'm not interested. I'm not looking to be their friends, to hang out with them or anything like that. Um, I did contact him in relation to doing an interview for the book. Um, I've done many interviews with him over the years, which I've been able to draw upon from the book. Uh, But I did want to do an interview with him for the specific purpose of the book. Well, I didn't, I didn't. I I didn't expect him to agree based on his previous uh, hostility towards books about him and Reiner. So I didn't expect it. And in some respects, I didn't want it. And the reason I explain why I didn't want it, I didn't want him by giving me the interview to start thinking he could start controlling the output of the book. I wanted it to be as honest as it possibly could be without feeling that I necessarily owed him anything. So it was to my considerable surprise when when the book was published and uh, shortly after an extract appeared in the Irish Times, an edited extract in late September, uh, that he came out and issued a statement um, condemning the book. Fine. At that stage, I don't believe he could have read the book because it was in very small circulation. And judging by the statement that he actually put out, he definitely hadn't read the book because he was condemning things in it that actually weren't in it. Um, But he also then, and I was disappointed, if not surprised, that he made a statement saying that I had, uh, that he had asked me not to write the book and that he had asked me not to write it because of uh, consideration for his wife and family. And that is a surprise. I actually brought along with me the letter which he actually had sent to me. So here you are, here's your copy. Thank you very much. Uh, There's the copy of it. Now I have redacted my address as well on it. But um, basically when I wrote to him in early February, 2017, he sent me back a letter and said, well, I wish you well with your proposed book about Ryanair, a much more interesting subject than one about me. And I should just clarify at that stage, probably the focus was a bit more on Ryanair, but changed later in the year to O'Leary. He said, I'm afraid I have no interest in such books and therefore won't be available for interview on it. I'm sure there is plenty of information available in the public domain and from other interviewees to allow you to tell the Ryanair story without my spin on it. Now, how can you then come out and issue a statement in September this year saying that he had asked me not to write the book, not to invade his privacy for respect for his wife or children? That didn't happen. Quite clearly, he said, there's plenty of information available in the public domain and from other interviewees to allow you to tell the story. And that's what I've actually 